pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. These slides are made for Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. I review the four main tissue types is epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscle tissues, nervous tissue. Right now we're going to focus on epithelial tissues. Remember the entire body can be broken down and fit into one of these tissue types no matter where you are in the body. Okay, let's start with epithelial tissue. Epithelia is plural, epithelium singular, epithelial tissues, same thing. By definition, it's going to have to be on the surface because it's going to be lining something. Okay, it's a layer of cells lining something. Now, this layer of cells are going to be very close together. There would not be any blood vessel in them. And we, num we name them uh, with a two-name process. One part of the name has to do with the number of layers that we see in the tissue, number of layers of cells to be specific. And the other part is the shape of the cells that we see. If it is only one cell layer thick, then we call it simple epithelium. If there are more than one cell layer, then we call it stratified. Now, this particular slide say is pseudostratified. Okay, pseudostratified. So it's not exactly multiple layers. Pseudo means fake. So when we say pseudo, we mean it's a fake many layer because it looks like many layer, but really it's only one layer. Let's look. Uh, before we go there, sorry, we're, we're going to review the shape. We can have epithelium based on squamous, which is a squish, cuboidal, which is a square, and columnar, which is rectangular shape. Now, in this case, we're talking about pseudostratified ciliate columnar epithelium. Remember, pseudo means fake, stratified means many layer. If you look at these structure here, this is nucleus, okay? The, this is a nucleus, that's a nucleus, that's a nucleus. So when you're looking at this, it gives the impression that there are many layers. Here's one up here. So you're thinking possibly many layers of cell, but it's not. It's only one, okay? Now that's the first part of the word. Ciliated means it has cilia. Cilia, you would actually, with cilia, you can actually see the strand, okay? These little lines coming up at the top. Um, and that is longer than microvilli. Okay, last time we looked at microvilli, it's a lot shorter and it's blurry. Cilia is a lot longer. Okay, now these cells in general are tall, skinny cells, so that's why it's columnar. And of course, it's lining a surface, so it's epithelium. Uh, where are we in the body? Okay, uh, yes, we have this, uh, uh, both version, non ciliated and ciliated pseudostratified columnar, but for your test, you only need to know the ciliated kind. And the ciliated columnar epithelium is only found in the trachea and the upper respiratory tract. By the way, these are goblet cells, okay, which we talked about when we uh, reviewed the uh, simple columnar epithelium. Okay, this drawing gives you a pretty good idea of what I mean when I say pseudostratified. If you just look at the nuclei, it gives the impression that there are many layers, maybe one, two, three, four layers of cell thick. But if you look closely at the basement membrane down here, you will see that all of these cells, even if the nucleus is way up here, all of the cell will have cytoplasm and plasma membrane that will stretch down and touch the basement membrane, either a little bit or a lot. The fact that every cell plasma membrane will come down and touch the basement membrane makes it really a one layer cell thick. Thus the name pseudo stratified, because pseudo means fake, stratified many layer. It's a fake many layer. Looks like many layer, but it's only one. And then of course up here we have cilia. So here's an example, magnified 400 times. If you recognize these right now, these are nuclei of tall columnar cells. Gives the impression that there are many layers here, but it's not. It's only one. So that's the name pseudostratified, columnar epithelium. The other thing you want to include here is, is how thick this is. That's cilia. 
Okay, so you can have to say ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Another sample, okay, definitely epithelium. And if you go look at the nuclei, it gives the impression that it's many layers, but it's not. So it's pseudostratified. Here at the top, you see a little wisp of what uh, looks like hair, you know, so actual strands. That would be cilia. Notice how tall it is, okay? And uh, the sh main shape of these cells are columnar. So put it all together, is ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium. By the way, there are galvis cells in here, okay? There are galvis cells. Remember, anytime you have columnar epithelium, be suspicious of finding goblet cells. Here's another view, and in this particular case is stained specifically for mucin, which is found in the goblet cells. So here it lights up really dark as purple. These are goblet cells with mucin. The actual nuclei, okay, don't get confused, these are not nuclei, these are just goblet cells. The nucleus are just the regular red. Sprinkle pretty much at the middle and at the bottom, okay? Uh, up here at the top, we see cilia, okay? And we see here the, the scala cells releasing mucin. So this is ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium. This is a great example, don't you think? I mean, look at this. You actually see the strand of cilia coming up at the top. This is high power compared to the last slide, which is low power. And here you see clearly the nucleus. Okay, and you see that it looks staggered. It looks like it's many layers, but it's not. So you put it all together, it'd be ciliated, pseudostratified, columnar epithelium. Going back to low power, here you see the cilia, okay, that should jump out at you. Also, what should jump out at you are goblet cells here. So that tells you we're looking at columnar epithelium. And then when you look at the dark stuff, that's the nuclei for the columnar cells. And it gives the impression that there are many layers, but it's not. It's only one. So altogether, this is ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium in the trachea and upper airway. High power again, you see clearly all of this is epithelium. See the wisp of the cilia, the individual strand of the cilia. You see the nuclei, okay? This would be a nuclei or the nucleus of a, a, a columnar cell. And so therefore this would be pseudostratified, ciliated columnar epithelium. Once again, you don't need them in the exact same order. As long as all of those words are on the same line, you will get full credit. Okay? So we ask you, name this tissue. The best answer would be ciliated, pseudostratified, columnar epithelium. Once again, it doesn't have to be in that order, but it should all be there in the same line. If we ask you, name this cell, then your best answer would be columnar cell. We ask you, name this dark structure, the best answer would be a nucleus. We ask you, name this pink stuff, okay, name this pink stuff, that would be cytoplasm. Here's another low power view of uh, the same tissue. Ciliated, a little bit of mucus coming up, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Once again, ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. By the way, in this picture, this is another epithelium that you guys have already learned, I hope. This is simple cuboidal epithelium. And over here, this would be simple squamous epithelium. Another sample of ciliated, look at that. You can actually see the little strand, ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Great view, you know, this is pretty much high magnification here. You can see clearly the cilia, see how tall and skinny these cells are. 
uh, so this columnar gives the impression of many layers of nuclei, but it's not. It's only one layer thick, so a pseudostratified, uh, ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Another look at the same thing. Okay. Ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Wow, a lot of red, isn't it? Okay, back to the pink. Ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Here it is again. Ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. In this picture, you actually see some pretty good goblet cells. Okay, and those are goblet cells. Ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Once again, ciliated, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Here we have goblet cells. Okay. And that's it.